Manchester United having to wear a change kit today of white shirts to avoid a clash, of course, with Charlton. So Alex Ferguson beginning the game in the director's box. Stephen Lodge, uh, <laughs> there's actually no ball to kick off with. It'd be a good idea to have one. So Manchester United get us off and running at the Valley. Charlton Athletic, the latest team to try and stop what appears to be another championship charge from this tremendously talented team. Nicky Butt, who's been hanging on to his place in the team, and rightly so lately, never lets them down. Kinsella clears that, though. Wes Brown, assisted by Sylvester. Now Beckham. That one's floated towards Solako, and an early chance here for Charlton. And John Solako had a glimpse of goal in the opening minute. Jensen, cut out by Gary Neville, who also blocked Solako's effort. Solako trying again, though. This time it's cut out by Captain Keane. Silvestre aimed towards Soskia and it's found him. Oh, they got a Soskia. Brave goalkeeping from Dean Kiley. It did spin away a little bit from Soskia. But Dean Kiley was very alert to the threat posed by the nippy Norwegian. And he smothered it. Kishishev. Bartlett is about to have Wes Brown breathing down the back of his shirt. Sean Bartlett, South African international. Well, the Valley held its breath when it almost opened up here for John Solarco. And in the end, Gary Neville got in the way. Solarco has played the last few games. It's Bradford nil, Tottenham one, and Ledley King has scored for Spurs at Valley Parade. Wes Brown ran into Graham Stewart there, but it'll be a Manchester United throw. Brown, so impressive in recent times, now that he's fully recovered from the cruciate ligament damage that meant he missed most of last season, or all, all of last season. Gary Neville got something on that. Beckham's clearance has gone straight to Chris Powell. Very consistent performer for Charlton, now Kinsella. Klaus Jensen pointing to where he wanted it, and he's got it. And now Jensen has put Powell in. And Powell's cross! Oh, a spectacular save! Johansson's header pushed away by Raymond van der Howe. And Charlton so very nearly made a flying start. Jonathan Johansson with plenty of power on it, but all credit to the keeper. Jensen's corner. Bartlett was the nearest Charlton body to it. It's not cleared yet, though. Solako. That was a brave header by Gary Neville, but it was a high boot from Richard Rufus in there. And it'll be a free kick to Manchester United. And they've taken it very, very quickly. Giggs with a typical turn of pace. And Kylie has to come and smother again. Brian Giggs back in the starting lineup after some fleeting appearances from the bench recently, scored in midweek to finish off the Austrians of Sturmgratz in the Champions League. Solarko. Powell. Well, there was no doubt whatsoever that Charlton would go for it right from the start here. Foul by Solskjaer on Rufus. Richard Rufus, Charlton's player of the year last season. 
and they think a lot of him in this part of the world. Kylie's kick, met by Gary Neville. Chadwick got something on it, now Solskjaer gives it back to Beckham. Cut out, though, by Charlton's captain, Kinsella. Powell up towards Johansson. And here is the fin again, Johansson's cross, Bartlett! Oh, it somehow, it somehow stayed out! So, so, so close. But Charlton are oh, rattling the champions in the opening stages of this game. And it was nearly a dreamful debut for Sean Bartlett. And the valley would have erupted had that one sneaked in off the post. Yet, somehow it didn't. And Van der Howe could only watch. A bright and busy start from the home team. Beaten only once here this season in the Premiership by Sunderland last time out. They don't give much away either. Four goals conceded in eight games and they're certainly taking it to Sir Alex Ferguson's Manchester United at the moment. He may well be a little concerned. That's going to break for Jensen. Summer signing from Bolton Wanderers for a club record £4 million. Kishishev, Graham Stewart made the run. It was actually an important touch on Wes Brown because it might have landed nicely for Stewart. Sylvester has to slap it into the stands, but Charlton looking to keep the early pressure on. And... Kishishev. Sylvester colliding with the advertising board. But uh, thankfully he's OK. Solarko giving him a little shove. Out. Missed kick from Kinsella, of all people. Rufus got in front of Solskjaer. Now Fish. Charlton have actually lost three of the four games he's played in since his arrival from Bolton. Beckham. Solskjaer turned and he went for goal. But it fizzed wide from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who last week against Tottenham came off the bench to score his 50th Premiership goal. That effort, though, was always veering wide from the man who has such an excellent record when it comes to goals for United. Bartlett trying to flick it through to Stewart, nothing doing. Keane. Phil Neville. That'll be cut out by Kinsella. Powell is available. Rufus, they play some nice football chart and they're a worthy addition to the Premiership and they'll be hoping to hang on in in the top flight this time around. Kinsella. Rufus. Now Fish. Kishishev back to Johansson. Wes Brown in the way. Alan Kerbisley's excellent efforts at Charlton over the years haven't gone unnoticed. He's been linked with a job in the England setup. Maybe as under-21 coach. Now, Stuart's cross, and it's in this time from Bartlett. 
He has done it! Charlton are really giving it a go against the champions. And dreams do come true because Sean Bartlett has scored on his full debut against the team of his dreams too, his boyhood idols, Manchester United. Graham Stewart, the provider. And Manchester United find themselves a goal behind. Bartlett, an instant hero. Well, that's what they brought him in for. They failed to score Charlton in three of their last four games. Alan Kerbisley hoped that Bartlett would be the answer to that. He is the answer. Well, he was foiled earlier, Sean Bartlett, by the upright, but he came back for more. Got a little deflection off Phil Neville, but uh, no taking away from Bartlett. Luke Chadwick then, a rare attack for Manchester United, it's not often we say that. Phil Neville's cross is not a very good one, much to the delight of the home fans. Bradford one, Spurs one at Valley Parade, Jamie Lawrence with the equaliser. Here at the Valley, it's Charlton 1, Manchester United 0. Sir Alex Ferguson making a number of changes today with Sheringham and Scholes left on the bench, but he will know more than anyone that there is a long way to go in this game. And one thing's for sure, Manchester United will create a few chances. Bartlett really up for it on his full debut and home debut. Came on as a sub at Liverpool last week. Kinsella, Manchester City lead Everton by a goal to nil at Main Road, and Chelsea lead Derby 1 nil. Ida Good Jonsson for Chelsea, and that City goal at Main Road scored by Palo one shot. And that's going to go straight through to Raymond van der Hau, caught upon today because Fabian Bartes has a slight ankle problem, nothing major. Van der Howe already beaten. Dean Kiley and ever present in the Premiership. Bartlett rising, but it just dropped the wrong side of Johansson, his strike partner. And Graham Stewart putting himself about Keane. Somebody has to. Here's Kinsella. Jensen to Chris Powell. Manchester United can't get a grip at all at the moment. And all credit to Charlton and look at the space that Johansson is in. Now Klaus Jensen. And it's come off Phil Neville. It'll be a corner kick. Arsenal 1, Newcastle 0 at Highbury, Thierry Henry has put the Gunners ahead. Bartlett, the goal scorer, in the hunt for another. Jensen whips it in, but it's a comfortable catch in the end for van der Howe, and he's going to try and release Giggs, but Kishishev, the Bulgarian international, takes it away from him. Now Kinsella. Now, this has been kept in by Roy Keane. David Beckham's in a bit of space. He's going to have a go, surely, when well, it was blocked by Fish, but they were inviting him to have a blast. Now, though, there's no flag, and Johansson is away. Jonathan Johansson! Oh! 
just wide. Oh dear, it could have been 2-0 to Charlton. With less than a quarter of an hour gone. Manchester United sleeping a little bit. But Johansson fired wide. Charlton are fiercely committed to the cause at the moment. They are in a really rampant mood here and Manchester United have no answer to it just yet. An extraordinary start at the Valley. Alan Kerbersley's Charlton leading Manchester United. Silvestro will send that back to Van der Haal. Chelsea 2, Derby 0 now. And Good Johnson has got his second, and West Ham lead Aston Villa by a goal to nil, and one of their promising youngsters, Michael Carrick, has got the goal at Upton Park. Klaus Jensen. Kishishev. Arsenal 2, Newcastle nil now. The goal's really flying in today. Stewart to Rufus. Oops. Graham Stewart popped that one into touch. But it was Stewart who set up Bartlett's goal. Roy Keane. A few questions being asked of Manchester United for a change. Phil Neville. Beckham. Chadwick is available wide. But also on the scene is Nicky Buck. Chadwick to Beckham. Here's Phil Neville. But Chadwick squirmed away from him a little bit, but he still managed to keep going and no free kick as Kinsella won it back. Salako prodding it forward, but here's Roy Keane. Keane trying to charge his way through, but he ran into Mark Fish. Chadwick, Keane, Phil Neville, and Giggs looking to get on the end of that. A rather hopeful handball shout against Kishishev. Here's David Beckham. Teasing cross, but it's sent straight back to him by Mark Fish. Beckham this time slips it through to Roy Keane, and it's blocked by Klaus Jensen. Corner. I think Jensen uh, was trying to claim that it bounced off Keane in the end, but some concern now for Charlton because you would expect a half decent corner coming in here, wouldn't you? Wes Brown has come forward. David Beckham delivers. Phil Neville. Chadwick, it's going to go back to Beckham, I think. And Beckham returns it to Chadwick, who gets some sort of cross in under pressure from Stewart. Charlton keep giving it straight back at the moment to United. And Keane finds Phil Neville. Chadwick. It's going to come to Beckham, they can try again. And rest assured, they will. But Charlton holding firm at the moment. Even though Manchester United really are pushing them. Gary Neville. Keane. Sylvester is going to make himself available, but it's going to drift away from him. He keeps it in, just. Wes Brown. Gary Neville. Manchester United playing keep ball at the moment. But they trail Charlton 1-0. Away by Fish. On by Jensen. Wes Brown comfortably holding off Johansson. Now Giggs. Little flick from him. 
but Rufus made sure that Solskjaer wasn't going to get near it and it carried through to Kylie. and it won't surprise you to see that Sir Alex Ferguson has come down already from his seat in the director's box because this is not the Manchester United he knows although that was a good spell for them but here's Kishishev Stewart Johansson had gone out wide and he looks for Bartlett again but that'll be plucked out of the air by Van der Hout who immediately gives it to David Beckham Phil Neville Giggs has come across but Fish intervened Powell Beckham whipped it off his toes 20 minutes played at the Valley Charlton Athletic 1 Manchester United nil. Sean Bartlett the South African international making an immediate impact at the Valley elsewhere it's Bradford 1 Spurs 1 Chelsea 2 Derby nil. Arsenal 2 Newcastle nil. Manchester City 1 Everton nil. West Ham 1 Aston Villa nil. Kylie's kick. Little nick from Salako found Jensen. Now Johansson. And now Bartlett. Needs help over there. Kishishev. Kinsella. Oh, back to him by Jensen. And now Bartlett. Super stuff from Charlton. Handball claim, but all they've got is a corner. Off Wes Brown. But Charlton playing Manchester United very much at their own game here with some flowing football Jensen's corner and it all ended a little bit scrappily with Manchester United breaking David Beckham he has Chadwick and Solskjaer and Giggs up there with him and he's picked out Ryan Giggs and Giggs Gives it to Roy Keane, but Charlton close him down. Nicky Butt, though, comes in and takes a tumble right on the edge of the area. Free kick. Now, this could be ominous for Charlton. Nicky Butt clipped by Kinsella. It actually came through to Roy Keane, who might have fancied continuing, but United will take the free kick instead. What a surprise. He is surveying the scene. A tense time at the Valley as Beckham steps up. And it bounced off and through the wall. And was promptly twisted behind by Kinsella for a corner. Actually, Kinsella, who it hit as well. Not much joy from the free kick. What will come of his corner? Beckham. And it's flipped away, but quickly retrieved by Roy Keane, who goes back to Gary Neville. United having another one of these spells where they attempt to keep Charlton on the rack a little bit. Oh, here's Luke Chadwick, and he's got time on his hands. Chadwick. Blocked, though, by Rufus. Jensen loses out to Keane. And Keane has been tripped by Kishishev, and that's going to be a free kick. <laughs> well, he definitely seemed to be uh, caught. Manchester City 2, Everton 0 at Main Road. Steve Howey... David Beckham, oh, that was wicked. And I think Solskjaer was on the end of it. To no avail, as it turned out. But it really was viciously whipped in by David Beckham. And indeed, Solskjaer met it, but couldn't steer it goalwards. Manchester United, obviously a little annoyed at going behind and having some decent spells. Bradford 1, Tottenham 2, Sol Campbell has put Spurs ahead 
at Valley Parade. Lots of goals in the Premiership so far. Just the one here, but it means so much to Charlton Athletic. Bartlett rising. Phil Neville. Nicky Butt. He kept it in. Tried to get a corner off Jensen, who was having none of it. Chris Powell is there too. Kinsella. Stayed calm. Silako. Now Graham Stewart. Could it open up again for Charlton? Johansson's return is not great, and Sylvester is going to beat Stewart to it. But this is Kishishev, well advanced. Johansson leaves it for Kinsella. Jensen, man on, shouts the whole of the valley. Well, nearly the whole of the valley. Chris Powell. Taking time out by going back to Kylie. Stewart, plenty of Premiership experience with him, of course, from his time at Everton and Chelsea. Oh, Rufus's back pass leaves Fish with a little to do, and Giggs looking to get in. And hooked away by Powell. It's going to come to Keane, though. Now Beckham. Solskjaer. Kishashev is going to marshal that one behind, is he? No, credit to Chadwick, who put him under pressure. Stewart seeking out Bartlett, who managed to head on his own header. Nicky Butt. Beckham to Solskjaer, but poked away by Fish. Sylvester, close control from Solskjaer. Now Chadwick. It's going to break to Roy Keane. Thought about hitting it first time, needed to do what he's done. Cut out by Fish, who then sliced it behind for a corner. You really do have to keep your concentration when Manchester United are in town. That is for sure. Beckham and Phil Neville pings it wide hardly a prolific scorer for Manchester United so perhaps it wasn't too surprising where it ended up just two goals in 208 games Charlton, remember, with the best home defensive record in the Premiership, which they should be extremely proud of. Rufus cuts out the supply line to Solskjaer. Jensen muscles in on butt, kept it in two, Bartlett. Johansson, and they got a little loss somewhere in there. Nicky Butt. Phil Neville advancing, but Kylie's going to collect. Kept 19 clean sheets last season, Dean Kylie, which equaled a Charlton club record. He's been a strong influence since his million pound arrival from Bury, not too far from Manchester. Klaus Jensen trying to charge through. No free kick. Beckham. Solskjaer let it go. Giggs didn't have much of an option to do otherwise either.
Bartlett wrestling with Gary Neville. Now Roy Keane. Phil Neville gets it back from Beckham. Leaves it for Keane. Solskjaer. Giggs is there with him. And it just came off the boot of Rufus. Which took it away from the direction of Giggs. Kylie's kick aimed towards Johansson. Bounces through to Bartlett. Free kick for a little nudge in his back by Wes Brown. Just a couple of England caps so far for Brown, but plenty more to come, rest assured. Half an hour played at the Valley. Charlton Athletic lead Manchester United by Sean Bartlett's goal on his full debut. He waits for this free kick. Klaus Jensen went for goal! Oh, it was a wonderful save from Van der Howe because for more than a moment it looked like that one was going to fly in and Van der Howe came scrambling across. Tremendous try, though from Jensen, who now takes the corner, and Van der Haal struggling a little bit, and Richard Rufus was on the end of it, but couldn't quite get it down. But Charlton really are giving an excellent account of themselves here. And that was close. A couple of seasons ago, United sneaked a last-minute winner here through Dwight York. In fact, uh, I seem to remember Charlton losing a few home games by a single goal. They didn't get too many thrashings last time they were in the Premiership. But they certainly picked up a few lessons along the way. And are more prepared this time. And you have to say that some of the football they play, well, the Premiership would be a poorer place without them. Away by Fish. Sylvestra on a little burst. Now Ryan Giggs. But Beckham's cross. Comfortable for Kylie. Johansson will get the throw off Wes Brown. Jonathan Johansson, former. Rangers striker, pretty prolific up there, even though he was often on the bench. He's made quite an impact since arriving in the Premiership. Nine goals this season. Sir Alex Ferguson and his number two, Steve McLaren. None too impressed with the way things have gone so far. But, I wouldn't say he's quite happy because he knows that against Manchester United, with the amount of time there is left, 1-0 is never enough. In fact, 5-0 might not even be enough. But he'll certainly be proud of the way his team has performed so far. Kishishev with Charlton's throw, and he'll get the chance to do exactly the same again. Well, Klaus Jensen came close to extending Charlton's lead here. That close. And the house actually made a couple of decent saves in this first half. Replacing the injured Fabian Bartes. Graham Stewart couldn't control it. Charlton with five wins at home this season, two draws and just one defeat to Sunderland. Up in the air by Rufus. Away by Gary Neville. 
Kinsella. And between them, Kinsella, Stewart and Jensen sorted out for Charlton. And now Chris Powell has it. Jensen. And Chris Powell has continued his run. And Gary Neville having to nurture that behind for a corner. That's once again Charlton probed Manchester United's defence. Klaus Jensen's corner, and away it goes, but back it goes. Oh, offside flag's going to go up. Klaus Jensen didn't get back in time. Manchester United with an awesome record in recent times. 13 wins in their last 15 games. Here's David Beckham. Now Roy Keane. Giggs. Solskjaer. United stringing some passes together. Silvestre. Chadwick available. And Jensen now picks it up. Here goes Bartlett. And he's found Johansson. Ooh, Gary Neville with a vital interception. West Ham 1, Aston Villa 1 at Upton Park. Lee Hendry is equalised for Villa. Giggs to Beckham. And he'll be joined down that side by Phil Neville. Beckham wasting no time, and Chadwick came in, but it's a goal kick. United felt it should have been a corner, actually. Luke Chadwick, 20 years of age, on the end of David Beckham's centre. He's a fairly new name on the Manchester United first team team sheet, but he's an England under-21 international and has been spoken about in very high terms for some time. Bartlett helps that on. Phil Neville. David Beckham spinning away from Solarco. Now Phil Neville. As Manchester United continue their quest for an equaliser. Roy Keane, their captain. Silvestre. Chelsea 3, Derby 0. Gus Poyet with the third goal for Chelsea. Keane and Giggs. Oh, it might have taken a deflection that, but Kylie performed heroics to push it behind anyway. Did indeed come off fish in the end as Giggs went for goal. And it spun awkwardly towards Kylie, but he dealt with it admirably. It's a corner. And that means David Beckham. Keane was at the near post, I think it'll be another corner. Bradford 1, Spurs 2, Chelsea 3, Derby 0, Manchester City 2, Everton 0, Arsenal 2, Newcastle 0, West Ham 1, Aston Villa 1, the scores elsewhere. Here at the Valley, Charlton lead Manchester United by a goal to nil. We're seven minutes of the first half remaining. David Beckham tries again, but Stewart met it. And it's popped back in by Chadwick on his left foot. What an intriguing contest at the Valley. Charlton knew this would be a severe test of their Premiership credentials. The biggest test there is, of course. But they're in a good position to pass the test at the moment. Although, Manchester United looking to go on the prowl again. David Beckham, not a bad move this, but it's interrupted by 
Klaus Jensen. And Stewart can bring it away. Here's Salako. Stewart. He has Johansson over there with him. Now Salako. Kishishev's route was blocked by Butt, allowing Wes Brown to bring it out and give it to David Beckham. Beckham in turn seeking out gigs, but Richard Rufus is there. Beckham. Solskjaer. But muscled out of it by Powell. Now Jensen finds Graham Stewart. Johansson available to his right, but that's a poor pass. Cut out by Silvestra. And Kishishev closed in. The throw in in favour of United. Keane trying to lead by example, but he won't do it like that. A miserable effort from the captain, who hasn't scored yet this season, in fact. Which is rather strange, because last season was his best in terms of goals for United. Roy Keane and Mark Kinsella uh, play together in the Republic of Ireland midfield. But up against each other in this one. Now, handball, I think that was, by Johansson. Indeed it was. Good spot that by uh, Stephen Lodge. Ooh, Solskjaer's going to latch onto this. Giggs is arriving in the middle. And here he is. Ryan Giggs! Oh, yes! Giggs plants it firmly in the corner. Panic over for Manchester United, but were they really panicking? It's 1-1. And another fine finish from Giggs. He only needed the slightest glimpse of goal. Steered it past Kylie. And we are all square at the Valley. And he's the reason why. And Giggs now has seen Kylie off his line. He's gone for it. Oh, he hit the bar. But Solskjaer puts the rebound in. Absolutely unbelievable. Totally incredible. Wow. No wonder he's smiling. No wonder they're smiling. Well, well. Remember David Beckham at Wimbledon? Ryan Giggs. Well, that so nearly went in itself, but Solskjaer was banking on any rebound. Quite extraordinary. Manchester United have turned it round in a matter of seconds. Ryan Giggs nearly scored his second. But what a wonderful try from the supremely talented player. Here's Klaus Jensen. What a piece of invention from Ryan Giggs. Well, I think most people in the Valley could hardly believe what they saw then. From Giggs, Chadwick. Looks for him once more, this time Gig takes it go for Solsky Eye. Cannons off fish. Charlton have got to get a grip all of a sudden, having been in the lead for so long. Kinsella. A minute left in the first half, and the Valley stunned.
Well, it had been a supreme effort from Charlton, but so Alex Ferguson's team never cease to amaze you, do they? Typical of Solskjaer that he should be <laughs> waiting in the wings had Giggs' his effort come back to him as it did. <laughs> Kylie scuffed that somewhat. And now Solskjaer could be in, and Roy Keane's in the middle. Solskjaer delaying his pullback and it bounced off the boot of Captain Keane. I think he's getting a bit annoyed that he can't score this season. To say the very least. One of these days it's going to go in for him. But as we keep saying, he offers a lot more, of course, to Manchester United. So much more. Beckham. It's half time and a quite fantastic first half. Sean Bartlett gave Charlton the lead and they really started in superb fashion and deserved that lead. Bartlett scoring on his full debut, but Sir Alex Ferguson's team turned it around and he was at the centre of things. Ryan Giggs with the equaliser. Tremendously taken, and then he lobbed one from maybe over 40 yards onto the bar. And guess who was waiting to pounce on the rebound? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer with his 51st Premiership goal. And uh, well, the Valley witnessed something quite extraordinary with that gig's attempt on goal. But the champions, who were really on the rack a little bit to start with, have turned things round. And at the break at the Valley, it's Charlton Athletic 1. Manchester United 2. Stephen Lodge ready to resume proceedings here. So Charlton, having given such a good account of themselves, find themselves behind as they start the second half. Powell sending one up towards Bartlett. It's just going to race away from Jonathan Johansson, though, and it'll be a goal kick. Raymond van der Hauw in goal today for United because Fabian Bartes has a slight ankle problem. Little touch from Bartlett, it released Klaus Jensen. Well targeted in the end from the Danish international. Jensen with an ultimately disappointing effort, but he's such a key player for Charlton in that midfield area. Away by Sylvester. And Kinsella sends it all the way back to Kylie. Wes Brown across to Phil Neville. Charlton with a good home record. Only one defeat here, and that was in their last game at the Valley against Sunderland, but they lost at Liverpool last week as well. Little flip from Bartlett carries through to Raymond van der Hauw. Manchester United have got themselves into the driving seat. Ryan Giggs, a big reason as to why they've done that. Giggs. Keane. Sylvester, it opens up a little bit for him, actually. And he goes for goal! And it whistles over. Well, he hasn't scored yet for Manchester United, Mikael Silvestre. But this was a fine try from the Frenchman, playing 
his 60th game for United today. And obviously hungry to break his duck. That just went away from Bartlett as Aaron Roy keen to give it to Phil Neville, but a loose one from him is snatched by Graham Stewart. Jensen. Rufus. Stewart. Salako. Mark Fish. A South African at the back for Charlton and one up front as well. Fish and Bartlett, international teammates. Keen. Giggs. Here he goes again. Ryan Giggs is running at Charlton. And it just skidded off Fish's boot in the end. John Salako, Johansson ahead of him down there, but not able to do much with it. And it'll carry to Raymond van der Hau. Jonathan Johansson, the Finnish international, hoping to go into double figures today. He's on nine goals for the season. Away by Rufus. Keane. Beckham. Manchester United, the top team in the Premiership, top scorers with 43 goals now, best defence too, 11 conceded, but that defence is going to be tested, is it? No, it's not. Johansson trying to get through, but Gary Neville with an important touch. Kishishev, though, to Stewart. Away by Silvestra. Now Bartlett peeling out wide. Going for the return as well from Kinsella, but Sylvester is able to clear, although only into touch. Kishishev's throw flipped on by Johansson. Manchester United living a little dangerously for a moment, but they've cleared it. Only as far as Chris Powell, though. He hasn't got too many goals in his career. Silvestra hobbling. Looks like he'll be able to run that off, though. Phil Neville seeking out Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Rufus having to steer it into touch. Mikael Silvestra still struggling a little bit. Beckham losing out and Powell finds Bartlett. Johansson. Now Klaus Jensen. This could be interesting. Jensen spreads it to Kishishev. Roy Keane on the end of his centre. Jensen, looked like Nicky Butt might have got that away, but he didn't. Jensen taking on Silvestra, but taking it too far. Goal kick. I think it's the right decision, actually, despite Klaus Jensen's protest. Just looked like he took it too far, Jensen. Oh, he might have, uh, well, he might have already crossed the line before it took a little nick off Silvestra, who still hobbles a little bit. Dennis Irwin is on the bench. And a ready replacement if Sylvester can't continue. Kylie's kick. Phil Neville's header. Soskiar looking to latch onto this, and it just about carried to Kylie in his box. Kinsella to Kishishev. The Bulgarian on a burst. But his cross is met by Gary Neville. Now Chadwick. David Beckham. 
Beckham looking for Giggs. What a pass. Ryan Giggs. Still he has it. Solskjaer is waiting. Oh, and Kylie got back to keep Charlton hanging in there. Chadwick, though, delivers again. And Ryan Giggs not quite as effective with his head as he is with his feet. But it's a second goal beckoned for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in this match here. Giggs, well, Kylie got something on it and that proved vital, as indeed did that. Manchester United still only 2-1 up, it could have been 3-1. Giggs and Solskjaer tormenting Charlton. But on that occasion, the home side had the last laugh. And they might be laughing again here. Johansson looked like he was held. The referee let it go. Whether he was trying to play the advantage, I'm not so sure. Meantime, Roy Keane is charging away here. And Keane has to fend off Rufus. And does. And Kylie once again is there for Charlton. Rufus was struggling to keep up with Roy Keane then, who charged away. It's a lively little affair. David Beckham. Solskjaer. Keane. Keane. Ooh, it nearly carried through to Solskjaer. Cut out by Kinsella. Making up so much ground for Charlton as usual. Kisishev. Solako is available on the left, but they've gone to the right. And Sean Bartlett. Bartlett to Johansson. Johansson, gone past Gary Neville, and it flashes right across the six-yard box and away for a throw-in. Well, it's going from end to end at the moment, it really is. Enthralling entertainment. Roy Keane came a little closer than Johansson just seconds before that. His effort saved by Kylie. But it's very difficult to predict what might happen next in this captivating contest at the moment. What happens immediately is a free kick for Charlton. Arsenal 3, Newcastle 0, and Carnu has got the third for the Gunners. Uh, Highbury and Chelsea lead Derby 4-0, Gianfranco Zola with the fourth. Klaus Jensen. And Rufus is in there, but West Brown are well aware of that and knocking it behind for a corner. Rufus will stay up. Jensen sends it in. Oh, and it was hoisted away by Butt in the end. They still can't get it clear, now they might. <laughs> Not quite in the way that Roy Keane planned, I think. Mark Fish fancies a long throw. It's going to end up with Van der Halder. And he wastes no time in releasing David Beckham, although... He is going to get there. Oh, don't see that very often. Very unusual. Kishishev, Jensen. Graham Stewart and Jensen battling away, and Johansson trying to get in, but Van der Howe quickly out. Here's Keane. This really is some contest, Ryan Giggs. Butt to Keane. Back to Butt. Chadwick. Only his second start in the Premiership. He hasn't been quite as good as he was in his first at Derby. And he actually uh, played in David Beckham's role. On the right. Gary Neville, well, it went at a fair pace, actually, back to Van der Hau. Yeah. 
Charlton have been as high as fifth in the table this season. But they're currently in the bottom half. Paul Dickoff has made it Manchester City 4, Everton 0 at Main Road. And Chelsea 4, Derby 1. And Chris Riggett, who has been uh, one of their bright things this season, has got the goal back for Derby. Bit of a long way to go, though, you would imagine, at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea 4, Derby 1, Manchester City 4, Everton 0, Arsenal 3, Newcastle 0, West Ham 1, Aston Villa 1, Bradford 1, Spurs 2, Charlton 1, Manchester United 2 here. Keane releasing Chadwick. Oh, and a bit of a mess up! And Kylie recovered as Chadwick seemed to stumble, in fact. Salako. Powell, Manchester United are going to bring on Paul Scholes shortly, but Charlton looking to go on the attack here. The flag up there against Tonneton Johansson. Much to the dismay of the home fans. Well, I suppose he's not a bad lad to have on the bench. Luke Chadwick is going to make way for the arrival of Paul Scholes. Given a little rest today, likewise Teddy Sheringham, who's also a sub. Chadwick is a... Uh, going to discover soon that he'll have to trot off but not just yet because Manchester United oh he is coming off now Chadwick being replaced this was the only time that he was close to goal really bit of a scramble a bit scrappy and that was his last contribution Chadwick we'll see plenty more of him in the years to come but we see quite a lot of this boy now Paul Scholes And Scholes immediately charging that one down. <laughs> Thanks for that introduction. Away by Wes Brown. Here's Rufus. And Ryan Giggs slid in on Kishishev there, but no complaints from the Bulgarian. And Wes Brown, well... Johansson trying to force his way through and Gary Neville stayed <laughs> Mr. Cool then in touching it back to Van der Haal. There's a lot left in this game, that is for sure. As we reach the hour mark, Charlton trailing Manchester United by two goals to one. Fish. Jensen's flip, but through it goes to Van der Haal. Alan Kirbishley and his assistant Mervyn Day, or one of his assistants, hoping that his team can find a way back here against Manchester United. A few teams have tried to do that and not succeeded, but Charlton have plenty about them, plenty to offer still. Jensen was rather crowded out there, though. Beckham stepped in. Keane and Solskjaer. Giggs in the middle. Solskjaer lost his way a little bit. And that could set Charlton up for an attack with Jensen. Kinsella, there's a man on. Solskjaer was that man. Kishishev. Rufus. Johansson putting Sylvester under pressure, but the Frenchman who's run off that injury he had earlier, not too ruffled by that. Doing very well, in fact. Now Skulls. Beckham's calling for it over on the other side. I think Skulls has seen it yet, but Keane might well switch it to that side. There it goes. You kind of knew it would get to him eventually. Beckham sees his cross cut out by Fish. Bartlett. Powell. Foul on Gary Neville by Sean Bartlett, who has a prolific scoring record for South Africa. And Chant will be hoping that he can do similar 
for them. 20 goals in 48 games for his country. Three-month loan in Italy from FC Zurich, but that could be made into a permanent move. Certainly scoring against Manchester United on your full debut. Can't do you any harm. Gary Neville looking for his close pal David Beckham, but it eluded him, although he gets it eventually. Keane. Nicky Butt with a bit of a forlorn chase on here, although not that forlorn as it turned out. Typical of Butt. And he's still snapping away and forcing Powell to uh, concede the throw. Skulls, lovely touch. Roy Keane. Oh, it skidded just wide from Captain Keane as he once again went in search of that elusive first goal of the season. Well struck and not far away at all, was it? Johansson looking to get in here, but Sylvester got enough on it. Van der Howe sends it. Out of play. Graham Stewart. Roy Keane got back just to get a little nick on that. Here's Klaus Jensen. Powell might have to go back to his keeper as United closed in. Kylie's kick. Here's Bartlett. Now Kinsella. And that was a fair whack as well from Mark Kinsella. Plenty of pace on it and awkward for Van der Hau, but he smothered it. Now Giggs. Could be away here, Solskjaer moving in towards the near post. Still Giggs. Roy Keane! Oh, it's gone in! Kylie couldn't keep it out. And Roy Keane finally has his first goal of the season. And Manchester United seem to be heading towards a ninth win on the spin in the Premiership. Keane... Wasn't sure what to do, so he had a pop-up goal and he got the better of his Irish international colleague, Kylie, who will be disappointed about that one, really. Kylie couldn't get a grip. And United, who certainly haven't had it all their own way this afternoon by any stretch, now find themselves 3-1 up. Jensen, though, maybe time for a fight back here, but Nicky Butt was there to sort it out for Manchester United. Kinsella. Kishishev. Flag up against Jonathan Johansson. I have to say it looked a correct decision. But um, I don't think the uh, home fans are too worried about decisions being correct at the moment they just want some in their favor because there's a long way back now for Charlton gigs Here's Phil Neville. Solskjaer. United don't look like they want to stop at three. Beckham to Keane. Beckham up towards Nicky Butt. 
and wrestled away from him by Klaus Jensen, who did excellently. Kinsella was uh, put under pressure. Johansson. The outcome of that little scrap is a free kick in Charlton's favour, which they've taken quickly. Graham Stewart now, and Scholes trying to hold him up, but not managing to do so. Ooh, and Sylvester just stopped it going through to Bartlett then. Jensen. Powell, Johansson on to Stewart. Wes Brown snapping away at Stewart, but Salako will get a cross in, away by Gary Neville, though. And now Nicky Butt, that's going to just drift away, is it, from David Beckham? Yes, it is. And Charlton are going to make a change now, and uh, John Robinson, a popular figure here, Long-serving player comes on for John Salako. Robinson has missed the last three games with a groin injury. A fiery competitor. He'll put himself in and about Manchester United. Robinson on. Salako off. John Salako must sit and watch the rest of the game. It really has been some tussle. And Robinson, well, <laughs> his first involvement in the game sees him take a sore one there from Butt. He's only just run on, John Robinson. Caught by uh, Scholes, in fact, it was there. Certainly hurt John Robinson. Manchester United are going to bring on Jonathan Greening, who uh, unusually didn't come through the uh, Old Trafford youth system. He was signed a few years back from York. And they're going to take off Roy Keane, their captain, interestingly. Well, he finally got his first goal of the season. This was it. Didn't quite know what to do, so let's have a pop at goal. And Keane goes off for a little rest, and Jonathan Greening comes on. These are the sort of luxuries that Manchester United can afford at the moment. Van der Howe says, I'll have that one, thank you. And he's going to give Jonathan Greening his first touch. Giggs couldn't take the ball with him. 20 minutes to go. Charlton 1, Manchester United 3. But here is Kishishev. Oops. Took his eye off the ball and it bobbled over his boot. Giggs to Silvestre. Johansson. Kinsella away by Gary Neville Fisher's header and he gets it back from Kishishev Kinsella Kishishev away by Gary Neville oh little touch from Bartlett the flag is up though the flag went up and a free kick for Manchester United. That must have been a pretty tight one. Frustration for Sean Bartlett, who started off the scoring this afternoon. But Manchester United responded as they often do. Phil Neville and Scholes. Robinson, Kishishev. Checking away from Solskjaer. Robinson's in a good position here and he's spotted him. 
Now, Graham Stewart is going to get to this. Robinson there too. Stewart sends his cross in, but Wes Brown clears. Charlson looking to set up a rousing finale, but the flag is up against Robinson. Who has plenty to say as usual. But I have to say, it did look like it strayed. Manchester City 5, Everton 0. Joe Royal putting one over his former club there, big time. An own goal from Gary Naismith. Underhouse kick. Giggs. Couldn't quite get his feet sorted out then. Talking of luxuries, here comes another one. Teddy Sheringham left on the bench today but he's about to make his appearance and would you believe United couldn't afford to take David Beckham off he'll be uh, replaced by Sheringham shortly Robinson Kishishev Kinsella offside that's going to drive the home fans mad because it's about the fourth time in the last few minutes that the flag has gone up. And Stephen Lodge is going to show the game's first yellow card here to John Robinson for dissent. Robinson had a right pop at the uh, linesman and he's going to get a card as a result. Frustration, really, for Charlton. As soon as that flag went up, Robinson launched a verbal assault on the linesman, and that's why Stephen Lodge shows him the game's first yellow card. Well, there have been a few close calls there, but uh, the Charlton players crowded around the official, and meantime, Teddy Sheringham has come on for Manchester United, and... David Beckham has made way. United able to take off Beckham and Keane. Hmm. Easy, eh? Easy life at the moment. So, David Beckham. We'll see out this game from the bench. There are 15 minutes remaining. Bartlett rising, but Gary Neville made contact. Charlton refusing to give up. John Robinson. He's got nobody with him. And his cross comes to nothing. So John Robinson receiving the first yellow card of the game, in fact. Manchester United leading by three goals to one, but having to come from behind here at the Valley. Chris Powell. Up towards Bartlett. Away by Wes Brown. Foul by Soskia on Rufus. Hence the free kick to Charlton, who will try and launch a salvage operation here. Chris Powell. Up it goes. Bit too much on it, though, and it'll carry straight through to Raymond van der Howe. Silvestre, Manchester United have only lost two of their last 42 Premiership matches. It says so much, that statistic. Ryan Giggs. Giggs on the rampage! 
kept out by Kylie, but Giggs oh. <laughs> came back off the post, I think, and Teddy Sheringham couldn't quite turn it in. But Ryan Giggs has been in the mood today. Almost impossible to contend with when he's in that sort of mood. And Teddy Sheringham couldn't quite screw it back in as it cannoned off the outside of the post. Sheringham to Scholes, Giggs, away by Rufus. Phil Neville's header will go into touch. Manchester United face Liverpool next weekend. Charlton go to Leicester. Kishishev is about to be replaced. But that's a fine cross from him! And it's in from Bartlett! He's got his second of the game! And Charlton have set up a rousing finale at the Valley! They just refuse to lay down. Sean Bartlett, an instant hit at the Valley. It's Charlton 2, Manchester United 3. And it's going to be some end of the game now. Giggs, that's going to be a corner off Robinson. The two number 11s together. Bartlett making a huge impact on his full debut in the Premiership. And the way he's going already suggests that Charlton will be keen to make his move from FC Zurich. A permanent one ASAP. Three-month loan at the moment. But he wants to stay and a few other people might want him to stay after this. Giggs corner is actually collected by... Charlton's number 11, Robinson, who tries to find Jensen, but Manchester United with enough bodies back there. Ten minutes to go. Oops, Silvestre unable to get close to that one. Kishishev. Johansson, Giggs steps in. Oh, Wes Brown gave it straight to Kishishev. Now Kinsella. And now Johansson. Plenty in the middle for Charlton. And credit to Van der Hau because that can't have been easy. Glorious game. Skulls. Solskjaer can't keep it in. Throw into Charlton. So Alex Ferguson in his penultimate season as manager of Manchester United, set to take on a different role when he retires. He knows his team have been made to fight all the way here, and three points are most certainly not in the bag yet. Klaus Jensen. Oh, was he tripped? Yes, he was, by Ryan Giggs, and that's a free kick. And all of a sudden... The Charlton fans are believing that maybe they can stop Manchester United in their tracks. Everybody back for Manchester United to defend this free kick. The free kick is taken by Jensen, tried to curl it round the wall. In the end, he has to knock it back in, and everybody was coming out trying to stay on side, and it was an opportunity wasted, really, by Charlton there. Huge kick from van der Hau. And Fish won it. Or rather, Kishishev won it. And Kishishev has gone for the return here, and he's been obstructed by Wes Brown. And that's going to be a yellow card. Charlton fans calling for a red, but uh, 
That might be a bit hopeful from their point of view. Well, Wes Brown might claim that Kishishev ran into him, but he seemed aware of the Bulgarians' close presence. So Wes Brown gets a booking, and Charlton get a free kick. Well, it's in a similar position to the last one. The wall's going to have to go back. Stephen Lodge ordering the United players to go back a little bit. I have to say, it doesn't look terribly much like 10 yards of that. Well, they're, they're moving forward now. And there's a lot of tangling and a lot of grappling in the wall. There's no way that's gone back far enough, I don't think. They keep edging forward. The delay merely adds to the tension at the valley. Klaus Jensen tries again! Amazing save from Raymond van der Hau. It was heading for the roof of the net, surely, from Jensen. And van der Hau got his fingertips to it. A fantastic finish to a quite extraordinary game. Jensen's corner. Kinsella. And it's in! Robinson! John Robinson scores! What a comeback from Charlton! The Valley erupts! Sir Alex Ferguson can barely believe it, but to be honest, not many can believe it. This has been a wonderful game. A captivating contest. Robinson turned, Robinson scored, and it's Charlton 3, Manchester United 3 in one of the games of the season in the Premiership. Robinson has certainly made an impact after coming on as a sub. Silvestra. Well, Charlton has showed the sort of spirit that will come in very handy as they seek to keep their place amongst the elite of English football. Alan Kerbersley's team, 3-1 down against the champions Manchester United. For many, many teams, that would be that, but not for Charlton. And who knows, they might even fancy a winner. Jensen still going, but all he could do was stop it from going for a goal kick in the end. Kishishev. Still four minutes of normal time to go. Kishishev, down the line for Graham Stewart. Taken off his toes, though, by Silvestre. Now Manchester United trying to hit back. Ryan Giggs. Giggs taking on his fellow Welsh international, Robinson, but... Robinson won that particular duel because it's bubbled off Giggs and gone behind for a goal kick. Alan Kerbisley having to bring on Matthias Svensson because I think uh, Sean Bartlett has a little knock and will need to come off. Listen to the reception for Bartlett though, the two-goal man. Is he coming off? The, he is now. Sean Bartlett, two goals on his full debut. I think they quite like him already in South East London. Bartlett off, and the Swede Matthias Svensson comes on.
3-3. And three minutes to go. Kisishev looking to get in here. And he's managed to poke it through to Johansson. Oh, and Graham Stewart took it first time, but it looped off his boot and over. Graham Stewart got it all wrong as Charlton make another change in the closing stages. Kisishev has run himself into the ground today. He's going to be replaced by one of Charlton's youngsters, Paul Koncheski, just 19 years old. Kisishev off, Koncheski on in this absolutely absorbing encounter. You wish it could go on for a while longer, but there aren't many minutes left now, sadly. Gary Neville, allowing that one to go through to Van der Hau. Chris Powell's header, but it drops out of play. Well, Manchester United took off their big guns, Beckham and Keane, when they were seemingly destined for victory here. Ryan Giggs, ready to deliver. It's bobbling, and greening, and bodies are getting in the way, and Giggs is there, and Phil Neville sends it back in, but it's a goal kick now. It's the sort of time to get bodies in the way, however way you do it. So Alex Ferguson's Manchester United pegged back from 3-1 to 3-3. Greening, oh, he's sliced that one into touch. The 90 minutes are up, but there will be three more minutes of added on time at the Valley. Well, is there going to be a final twist in this tantalising tale? Jensen to Powell. Can he get a cross in? He can. No, he can't. It's blocked, but it is going to be a corner. What Alan Kerbersley would give now for a fourth goal. Jensen delivers. Robinson was lurking at the near post. It's come back to Klaus Jensen. And Van der Howe grabs that one off the top of a few heads. Van der Howe's kick. Konczewski underneath it. Did well. Kinsella. Svensson. Graham Stewart. Wes Brown blocked his route to goal. Skulls. Greening. Giggs. Oh, he could be in here. Ryan Giggs! Oh, it's flash wide. Was that the last chance to win it for United? And Ryan Giggs, who has posed problems aplenty for Charlton, posed another there. Still about a minute or so to go, I reckon. I've ended on time. You wouldn't really want to leave this one, even with a few seconds left, would you? It's come off Gary Neville, but it's only going to be a throw. Or is it going to be a free kick? It is a free kick, in fact. Free kick for Charlton. Chance to lob one into the box here. 
Mark Fish moves forward. Jensen sends it in, but it's oh, it's fisted away by Van der Howe. Referee is looking at his watch. Charlton haven't got it much time to get it back in the box. They've got no time. But it's a great shame that this game has come to an end because it really was some match. Sir Alex might not think so, though. His team were 3-1 up and coasting it, but they took off David Beckham and Roy Keane, made changes, and Charlton fought back and how to grab a point. Sean Bartlett scored twice on his full debut against the team he grew up supporting in South Africa. And this really was a remarkable game. Brian Giggs, a constant menace for United, nearly scored a Beckham-esque goal from the halfway line, which bounced back off the bar, allowing Solskjaer to tuck the rebound away. But it really was a classic contest, this. And they've certainly had top-notch entertainment at the Valley this afternoon. Manchester United, having been seemingly in the driving seat, suddenly found themselves stuck in a jam as Charlton refused to surrender. It's all smiles on the faces of this family club. They will remember this day for a long time. They knew it was going to be a severe test of their credentials, and you have to say that they have come out of it with plenty of pride and with plenty of spirit. An enthralling encounter in South East London finishes Charlton Athletic 3, Manchester United 3.